Could this be the best budget podcast microphone? So I've been testing a lot of AKG products from the C414XL2 microphone that I'm using now, nearly $1,000, to Isabella's P420 and their headphones too. I wanted to test one of their lower end microphones, a dynamic microphone ideal for podcasting in noisy or echoey rooms uh, and something that still sounds really good. That's why I was really keen to get my hands on the D5 vocal microphone from AKG. It's a really, really good budget microphone, usually weighing in at under the $100 mark and often under 60 or 70 pounds here in the UK. But is it any good? Well, let me uh, take off this cellophane wrapping. The uh, mic's just arrived today and uh, we'll find out what's inside the box and then I'm going to hook it up to where my C414 is and give it a try. So let's find out what's inside the box. Open it up here. Have a look inside. Oh. Nice AKG sticker, which is always good. User guide uh, inside, uh, inside bubble wrap here is that very handy. It's actually known as a handheld uh, microphone because you can hold it in your hand. And well, I guess you could sing on stage, but can you podcast with it? We'll plug it in in just a moment. So that is the microphone itself. Also included, yep, in bubble wrap is a microphone stand designed for putting on top of an arm or something like that, which is great. And a rather stylish and nice AKG zip up carry case so you can put your microphone in, carry it around if you're going to conferences, conventions, whatever, and take it with you. But now the moment of truth. Let's plug it in, test it out, and find out if it's any good. Okay, here it is, raw and unprocessed, the AKG D5 vocal microphone. Dynamic pickup, so a very close and closed range that it will pick me up. Uh, any echo in this room uh, should be reduced thanks to the dynamic nature of this microphone and the pickup pattern of this microphone. It's XLR only. Look at the XLR connector. Talking from the other side, talking around, talking to the left, talking to the right. How does it sound to you? Uh, so it's going directly into my Soundcraft Signature 12 MTK mixing console and not through anything else like a DBX286S. So nothing that would change the sound of this microphone, not even a pop filter. So you might pick up a few plosives from me. I think it would be good probably to have a filter in front, but for certainly under $100 in the US and often under 60 or 70 pounds in the UK, the AKG D5 seems to be a really reasonable budget beginner podcast microphone solution.